Hi, I'm Marty Kress. I'm the executive director of VCSI. And sitting on the field is a robot called MarkBot-N, and the N stands for NASA. This was a collaborative project we did in Huntsville two years ago. It was an activity between NASA Marshall, the Army's Robotic Program Office, Schaefer Corporation here locally, and AGT, which is a company located in Choctaw, Mississippi. What was the goal? There were too many young warfighters getting killed trying to detect IEDs. So we built a robot that could go out and do it. It's got a range of about a thousand meters. As you can see, it's got a scope on the front end to pull these things out. And it was a huge success to where the Army ordered 2,000. The team originally had six weeks to put the prototype on the table. And the reason for that is the colonel that made this all happen, who interestingly enough, now runs the New Robotic Research Center at Calhoun University. But the colonel that put it together told us for every robot we had in Iraq before Christmas, there was one more soldier that would celebrate Christmas. So it's the model that we now use. It's the model that we used to do the FASAP project. It'll be launched tonight. 734 Central Time. It's the pr model that we use for the lunar landers, one that's already flying out at NASA, and one that'll be flying in February. So it's a new way to do research. You take a box of basic technology and you layer it with some unique intellectual property or some COTS things or some new advances out of research universities, and you can turn things around quickly, you can turn them around cheaply, and that's the key to the model.